Hey, just a real quick follow up to the uh, description that Hannah gave below is um, what you can do always is you can uh, you can change equations by multiplying every term by any number that you want. And I just wanted to show kind of visually what's being described uh, right here is if you want to eliminate one of the variables, the idea is to get their coefficients to be opposites. And what Hannah is describing is that if you multiply this equation right here by five. Um, what this will do is multiply each of these terms by five, or the coefficients in each of the terms by five. Specifically, what's going to happen right here is the important part, that five times three y ends up being a positive 15 y, and that's how you get this zeroing out. So just to show, uh, again, this is just redoing what's down below. Um, if you multiply each of those terms by five on top, we'll get 25x plus 15 y equals 35. And then on bottom there, um, we have, uh, it stays the same as 6x minus 15y equals negative 66. Uh, and I won't finish the rest here, but I just wanted to describe that um, in a little quick video. Um, also, so now when I add these together, the key is these is a plus 15 and a negative 15. The concept when you're doing this, uh, we didn't have to just do the y's. We, we could have actually attacked the x's instead. This is very, very similar to finding a common denominator. You're trying to look between these numbers, what's in common. Like for instance, with the x's, if I was going to um, eliminate the x's, I could have made these both into 30s. I would have wanted one to be a 30x and one to be a negative 30x, um, if that makes any sense. But, but I think the, the move described here attacking the x's by multiplying um, this top equation by 5 is the quickest way of doing that. And then obviously you add those together you're going to get a solution for x and you plug that back in to find a solution for y. I hope that helps.